Pineapples, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a different type of video. I got my hat on because Glenn has like his whole getup. I will show you what he's wearing, but it's, it's a little bit windy so far. Glenn has helped prep this whole area. I'll put in a clip where he starts explaining what he was doing. Digging up the dirt, sing it up, getting all the roots and stuff out of this area, prepping it for the fruits that we're gonna have right here. Order. I staple them together. Staple it. It's used one of these T50 um, 14 millimeter staples. One, it's the biggest staple that you can put in here. Uh huh. And it's easy. All you got to do is. And this. you bought the wood like as is. Yeah, it's hobby wood from uh, Home Depot. And staple them. Oh, together. this is called. So he's prepping before we garden, you guys. I'm trying to get rid of like, see, like there's weeds right there. So Glenn put a piece of wood here and then also here just so we can create an area where our garden is going to be. So the plants we picked up are two jalapenos and I saw one of your comments that you said to get two of everything to cross pollinate. We almost have two of everything so that's good but we don't have with one of them I think or two. We have one blackberry right here there's already some berries coming from there. We have chocolate mint banana peppers so that one will go over here we also have more strawberries more strawberries <laughs> uh, we have blueberries and then we have cilantro so this is our first time planting anything so it's really exciting and this is where it'll go also we already have some peach trees going on and then if you guys see these we have a huge apricot tree here is my babe's outfit. Look at him. Woo! That's why I decided to put on a hat. I, I planted stuff in the past. Uh, you know, it's really not that hard. You just need a good mixture of topsoil and then uh, garden fertilizer. You mix everything up. You clear your bed. You don't want to make sure there's any major roots in there because if there is major roots in there, it's going to bleed your garden drive, the water, and your plants or vegetables will die. So we're just going to do fruits. Um, we're supposed to cross pollinate. I haven't got uh, doubles of some plants, but I do got to go back to Home Depot because I broke a sprinkler head and I got to replace that. <laughs> so we'll just pick up another one, and I think I want to pick up another topsoil um, to plant on top with some. Uh, and what does that do? It the topsoil itself is nutrients that the plants need to grow. Um, in this case, it's berries, so you want you know the full you know plant food pretty much. Uh, to go in there. I don't have any compost feed. I wish I did, but we just barely moved in here. I'll probably make a barrel or a bucket so I can make my own homemade compost. So in the future, if we do plant anything else, uh, I'll have that ready. But for right now, uh, we're just going to put this on the side. I chose this side of the house because it gets decent amount of sun. Uh, well, right now, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon, so it's perfect. We're going to get a decent amount going this way, plus some shade, so we're not going to burn out the fruit, but they're going to get an adequate amount of sun, um, which would be perfect, especially when we're in the summertime when it gets super duper hot. Um, and we'll have the house as shade. So I, uh, this is a good area. We have two sprinkler heads right here. Perfect for this. And um, that won't overwater them. Like, how do you know? Uh, I have it set to a certain area. My, our, our sprinkler system is pretty, pretty damn good where it's set to how much water we're going to put on them. And then the heads themselves, they don't do like a whole flood. It's just a nice even spray. I know a lot of people like to see the tiered um, mounted planters, which I might do later and put them in the backyard. But for right now, this is the perfect spot. It's clear, it's open, and let's get planting. So Glenn is really handy, you guys, and he's taught me a lot, so I'm super excited. Gotta get my supplies, guys. <laughs> Say hi, Kujo. Hi. Got my gloves, you guys. I picked them up at Home Depot. All right, so what's first, babe? Also so, got this tool. What's this called? It's a trowel. A trowel. Okay. It's a hand shovel. The, uh, plants, uh, the plants, fruits, whatever you got there in a the pot. Um, a lot of them, like these new ones, they're organic, so all you gotta do is take off the plastic and just plant it just like that. Um, but these right here, these plastic ones, plastic containers, the best way to get the plants out of here without disturbing the actual fruit or plant is to cut four, four corners on it. So one, two, three, four. Cut it down and then it will blossom out so you can just pick up everything and just 
put place it right there. So oh, nice. So you just cut the pot. You just cut the pot, yeah. Like I said, if you can buy the organic ones, which come in a biodegradable pot, that'd be awesome. Um, you just plant the whole thing in there. Just oh, I didn't. I wish off. I would have bought more of those. I could. They don't. They they only come in certain sizes, so. Yeah, they're small. They're smaller. I saw them. Yeah. So he's just cutting on the edge right there. Instead of like scooping it out and then ruining it. Yeah, you don't want to disturb the plant. This Be easy, careful with your hands. Easiest way. Talk about I'm a marine. I know, but I'm saying for other people to be careful. I know you're not clumsy like myself, which is why I'm not doing it because I will slice right through my you, hands. You, you don't guys. have to go all the way down. You just got to go enough. Just peel it out into like a flower. Yeah. Wow. We just got these the other day and those two were not red at all. They were like this back one right here. See, That's so cool. You say full sun. Mm -hmm. So these are full sun strawberries so they need like they're optimal in sun there's some strawberries that you don't you need you need to plant them in shade so you'll dry them out really quick just gonna peel it out like a flower that right there so right now we're just figuring out where we're gonna plant it so we're gonna have that there it's Let's okay it there. to be right by this vent uh, it should be. It's just going underneath the house. It's just wind or air. It's just ventilation vent. Um, Scary things don't live underneath there that might eat our strawberries because mm -hmm. they're so scrumdillyumptious. Maybe it. There's no it. Yeah, there's an it. Okay. Or you ever seen garden snakes? What? Garden snakes. I'm not listening they're to like, you. Uh, you're just trying to scare me. No, because when you're, you're picking up stuff. Onto the gardening. Looking at them. They actually wrap around your hand while you're about to pick. Onto the gardening. And then they, they go up your leg. Onto the gardening. Stop trying to scare me. Alright guys, we took a little detour and we came in our outfits, in our gardening outfits. <laughs> couple That's goals. Crazy. Hashtag right, couple we'll go goals. So we came here because I'm going to pick up another, what, blackberry? Blackberry. And then what else? And uh, was it blueberry that you got? Yeah. Uh, two blueberry, yeah. yeah. So, so we need two bushes. Blackberry, and uh, uh, more fruits because we got we got enough room where we could add more and I want to just utilize that whole space. Oh really? Uh, yeah. Oh nice. So, so just pick some more. Okay, maybe I'll do some rosemary and stuff like that because I use that for steak and then parsley. Um, so right here, this is where they have them. Are these all the organic ones that? Yeah, yeah. All these oh, so maybe we should just get these because these will be a little bit easier to plant than right. So, I mean, yeah. So these ones are all the organic ones where you can plant the pot right here. And then here are like the blackberries and then the strawberries that I found. Hmm? Bell peppers. We can also do bell peppers. All right guys, so we got what we needed because since we have more space, Glenn said we might as well just plant a couple other things. We needed one more blackberry, one more blueberry. One more banana pepper. Spaghetti. Spaghetti squash. Uh, Purpose hybrid cucumber. Zucchini. Oh yeah, let's do the cucumber. And we could do zucchini if you want to do like fried zucchini. There's Japanese cucumber too. Those like the thin cucumber. ones. Real thin long. Yeah. No one wants it thin. <laughs> you like nice and thick? Potty mix, two for ten. What is this one for? To plant the uh, blueberries in the pot. So Glenn wants to do the blueberries in a pot now. So now we're looking for some pot so we can plant the berries in it. So now I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna cut off the plastic part. These ones are biodegradable. So you can just plant them from right here. Now remember, this is the one that you have to cut and then you flower it out and then you get it out. Hi guys, so it is the next day and I don't know when I'm gonna put this in the video, but you're gonna see me plant the vegetables and also the fruits and it's gonna be wrong. I'm gonna show you how I corrected it, but I'm gonna go through the process how I did it yesterday and then later on you'll see what we did to fix it and yeah. All right, so let's go on to me planting the vegetables and fruits. Sorry, this is our first time ever gardening, so apologies for the mistakes, but thank you so much for all the tips and tricks that I got through all my DMs. I really owe you guys, so. Okay, now let's go into the whole 
the whole thing. We're gonna have cilantro, then we have the rosemary. I still have the little tags there, I'm gonna take them out. And then we have the strawberries. So now we have these ones as well. I'm just gonna make a row right here. Then I'll put some in the center. Um, I didn't find a chocolate mint. Well, I forgot to get one. I'm not gonna say I didn't find it. I didn't get chocolate mint. I was looking for it and then I got sidetracked and then, cause I couldn't find it and then I didn't look for it. So we're gonna put the hot bananas first. We'll do the jalapeno. Pretty cool because I've never planted before and when I was cutting this open to flower it out, I smelled the soil and it already smells like cucumber. I don't know, to me it's pretty fascinating. I mean, I've never done it before, like I said, so I'm excited to do this one. Also, with those pots, the organic pots, you don't need scissors to take off the plastic. There's a little uh, tear, so then you can just easily just rip it off. Because if you bring scissors, you can pierce through the pot, which I did. Not a lot, but it's just a very sensitive, you know, material. Because I'm just going to flower this one out. Right there. And I can smell the cucumber from the roots. It's so cool. Okay, guys. So I went ahead and placed everything. So over here we have our strawberries. We have our rosemary. We have our cilantro. We have our hot banana peppers. I'm gonna remove the signs. I'm just using it for reference so I know. Jalapeno. We have our green bell peppers. Oops, I'm gonna scoot this back. Well, once I plant it, it'll be more in position. Then over here we have our cucumbers. This one kind of fell apart, but when I plant it, I'll plant it so it's up. And then back here we have our chocolate mint right here. It's already mixed. Okay, what's right. it mixed with? with? Um, planting soil. Uh-huh. Uh, so it has to mix with fertilizer. And then I mixed it with the topsoil that was already here. Okay. So, now, what you have to do, and the easiest part, is putting the dirt all the way around each plant, each and every plant, and, you know, making sure... It's upright. It's upright, yeah. And then for those ones, I put it all the way up to the top? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is a, the, the best way to do this is here, going like this, planting it around. Just making like a base. Yeah, making a base and then getting it. You want to use your hands. Just be perfect. Mm-hmm. And then... But I'm saying, do you have to bring it all the way up to here? You want to, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So you have so, all this So, but dirt. also for that one, because that one's pretty tall. Uh... Somewhat, yeah, but uh, you should be all right because I put them all at at that level. I know it's a little bit deeper back there. I will actually back there. All right, guys. So so far, I did this whole row. I'm gonna put more around it, but I'm gonna wait till I really pat down each base first and then fill it in. I was laughing because I was doing the cilantro and like lifting this up to make sure I don't plant that. And I was thinking, what happens if all of a sudden someone like comes right here like, hello, hi, what are you doing? <laughs> like some like little person like, ah, 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 ah. All right guys, we are making progress. Whew, not gonna lie, this is a lot of hard work, but <laughs> low key at first I, wasn't sure like I've always wanted to like garden and then at first I'm like I don't know if I'm gonna like this type of retirement activity <laughs> but low-key I'm like having the best time just being outside and just planting this garden because I don't know it makes me think about like the future have this garden with like our future kids um I don't know because like I'm I mean gardening it's obviously something different for me but it's very different like when it's your own home like you want to put your whole heart and like soul and just love into it let me see yeah. woohoo glenn had to go to home depot again so he got another chocolate mint so now we have two oh cool joe we have two two chocolate mint my dog's helping me oh cool joe you helping he's just so curious he's like what are you planting i'm working on the strawberries and look at that berry you guys how exciting yuppie are you curious or you don't care she don't care. <laughs> oh my gosh, so many hours later, but they are basically all done. There's our strawberries in the back. 
Look at all already. We already have berries right here. So that's so cool. Some in the back. So those are two strawberries. I put these ones just in case just to keep them just right now. But I think in the future what I want to do is make cute little signs. Take the rest of this and then I'm going to fill it all up. And then I will be done. I'm kind of tired right now, but I'm going to finish this job. I hope you guys enjoy this new type of video. I mean, I had a lot of fun. So let me know if you guys like these types of videos, just different, like plant with me. I mean, I personally didn't know anything about planting. Glenn was helping me, and I don't know. I think it's definitely something different. I want to do a clean with me video pretty soon, but we still have some boxes since we just moved still. Um, just like a whole bunch of different ones, but I definitely want to take you guys on the ride just for like new different content, just like home videos and stuff. All right, guys, I'm going to get going. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Don't forget I upload every Tuesday and Thursday, and my vlog channel is what with Lizzie Vlog. You guys can see all the behind the scenes and stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Woo -hoo. back and it's the next day just wanted to come on here and let you know that we made little baby mistakes um, we got some good tips from all of you guys so we really appreciate it so we changed it up sorry if it's windy we changed it up we took away the rosemary so now we just put in a pot because I got a lot of comments saying that rosemary grows crazy and also I got a lot of comments about the mint so we took out the mint right now and now we potted it in its own little pot just because we heard this can completely take over as well. I also got a comment about the cucumbers that they're going to get a lot of vines. So hopefully this is enough area. This is all for the strawberry. This is for the cucumber. So we'll see. Um, if anything, we can always just switch it back around. But I just wanted to come on here and show you that we had to dig those up. Dug all those up. So we're going to keep the cilantro there and the peppers. And then we'll have the strawberry and... The cucumber we'll figure it out from there um, but really appreciate all your tips and tricks because this is our first time ever gardening so yeah so rosemary will be there we have our blackberries in the pots blueberries and then our chocolate mint right there and then here's our blackberries and then blueberries so all right guys that's all i wanted to show you just so i can show you um what we switched up in case anybody's interested Okay guys, so now this is where we kind of made the mistake. Um, I found out that mint takes over, so we took that out and we put mint now today in a pot. I'm not gonna be using a ton of mint, so we just put that in that pot right there. And then um, we also took out the rosemary because I heard that this grows insane as well, so we just put it in its own pot. Then we also took out the jalapenos just to give a little bit more room for the cucumbers because I heard that there's like a lot of vines that will come. So hopefully this whole area is okay for strawberries and this area is okay for cucumber. I think we might be doing like a panel or something eventually to separate these two, but just for right now. Um, it kind of worked out because we noticed we had a leak in our sprinkler system and it kind of flooded so it was really easy to take these out. So yeah, so now we have the jalapeno in here rosemary in here mint in there and then we still have our blackberries blueberries blackberries blueberries in their pots so yeah just a little FYI in case you guys are gardening sorry uh, for us making a mistake but thank you so much to all the tips and tricks so strawberries cucumbers hot banana peppers green bell pepper, cilantro, and then we'll just move things around in case we have to in the future. But for right now, we're just gonna keep it like this. And yeah, all right, sorry for making a mistake, you guys, but thank you so much for helping us. All right, guys, oh, a butterfly, how elegant. <laughs> Okay guys, sorry I got distracted. I sound a little bit sick. It's because I'm sick I thought I would do an update on our garden just so you can see how things are holding up You guys look at our strawberries. We have so many Strawberries that have grown. I can't even believe it. It's honestly only been two weeks since I filmed that video Look at all of them. They're growing. I I'm like in shock you guys. I've never grown anything So to me, this is so fascinating I'm like in shock. We got strawberries. Now, the cucumber. I see what you guys mean. It's already growing so tall and it's only been a couple weeks. I'm in shock. I feel like it's barely been two weeks and it's already growing up so high along with the sweet bell pepper and the banana pepper. You guys, look how tall our cilantro grew already. It is freaking huge and I'm so excited. Um, let's see, the only thing that we noticed that is not doing as well, but we just watered it, is our chocolate mint. 
Uh, we didn't really water that too well. And then our berries, I think, because we kind of neglected the pots on accident because they don't get hit by the sprinklers as much. But um, we do have some berries that are growing right there. As you can see, that one right over there. Or sorry, can you guys see that? Sorry, it's like so sunny out here. We have this vine growing. Um, our chocolate mint is looking a little bit better now that we watered it. Here's our jalapeno popper. I said jalapeno popper. <laughs> jalapeno pepper. Me and Glenn were talking about jalapeno poppers earlier, how we wanted some. Because <laughs> we found some restaurant that has like some bomb ones. And then here's our berry tree right here and then our blueberries those ones are ripening up they're really nice and they're getting really nice and blue they weren't like that before so here's our rosemary doing really good too so thought i would just update you all right guys here's the update on our garden let us know any tips and tricks highly highly appreciate it we are all learning here i'm pretty sure we're gonna have glenn suggests to not disrupt that so we don't shock it since the berries are growing so well and that we should mute move the cucumber should we move it to its own area or should we move it to a pot let us know um just give us any tips and tricks but so far i mean i think we pretty much have green thumbs yay love you guys whoop, whoop. here we go it's all about you it's all about me it's all about what we do Making art, you and me Trying to find something to believe